Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day's trading, the Thursday, the 8th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now where do we stand in terms of European uh, session? Let's look at these stats. The FTSE 100 finishing down 30 points at 7.450. The uh, DAX finishing up 41 at 12.713. The French CAC finishing down at 5.265. The FTSE MIB finishing up a whopping 300 points in the back of that potential uh, bank bailout. Okay, IBEX finishing up as well. The stocks finishing more or less flat. Okay, so the ECB has come and gone. Um, certainly um, the aftermath and really you can swing, swing it anywhere you want in terms of fundamentals. But really what, what counts is what happened afterwards and how the markets react. Now, the market certainly has reacted in terms of a dove from a dovish perspective, given the fact that uh, Mr. Um, even though he missed the drug, he did indicate that he would no longer uh, cut rates at present, although he did state that obviously he can adjust interest rates and QE in the future if obviously the, uh, the economy started to wane. Okay, so that certainly is a status quo. In terms of the market, how did the market interpret it? Okay, the market certainly has interpreted it as being dovish, hence the reason why the euro is down. If you bring up the chart of the euro USD, uh, especially given the fact that he did not talk about tapering, so that certainly was a dovish stance, although he did potentially raise growth. Uh, he certainly did uh, he took the equation or the uh, tapering equation out of, out, well, certainly took out tapering out of the equation altogether. So the Euro USD certainly seems to be down. The H&S formation that I was expecting certainly hasn't occurred. So let me just get rid of that. Certainly stopped out and whipped out yesterday. So we're back to where we were. Okay, so back down to that 1.12 level. And that certainly is bullish for equities from what I understand and the way in which I interpret it. It certainly is bullish for, for European equities. Okay, so a weaker Euro is always good and helps. Uh, not only that, we also have the US dollar as well. Uh, certainly recovering ground you can see the USD JPY bouncing off that 109 level on the back of Comey testimony given the fact that Mr. Comey uh, certainly uh, certainly seems to have uh, helped although he has called uh, George, uh, uh, Mr. Trump a liar uh, he certainly didn't uh, agree to the fact that uh, uh, Mr. Trump certainly uh, obviously uh, perverted the course of justice so Mr. Trump is off the hook for now okay uh, certainly off the hook and uh, it certainly seems that the market's are off the hook as well. They're certainly rising now. If I bring up the actual S&P 500 here as well, S&P 500 certainly seems like it wants to move to new highs now on the back of Mr. Trump being vindicated to a large extent, according to Donald Trump, Trump Jr. So certainly are pushing to new highs as you can see here, and it's just a matter of time really, given this light volume zombie environment, that the S&P breaks to potentially new highs. So just to take that into consideration as well. Okay, so uh, that's the status quo, folks. That's the status quo at present. That's the way in which the markets are interpreting it. In terms of economic numbers, uh, economic data throughout the day, let's just go through this. Uh, Chinese data certainly beating expectations, so again bullish. Uh, Ger uh, French, sorry, uh, French, Japanese uh, GDP actually coming in weaker. Uh, European data, industrial uh, production certainly strong for Germany. Ahead, the reason why the French CAC was certainly weak today due to trade balance and import export numbers certainly on the weaker side. Uh, GDP numbers for uh, Europe certainly on the stronger side, so that helps as well. Jobless claims did actually come in on the uh, uh, the, the actual stronger side, so again jo more jobless claims than expected. Although jo continuous jobless claims certainly uh, neutral, certainly weaker, so more or less balanced it out. Okay, uh, ECB monetary policy statement I've already clarified. Uh, the uh, summation or the conclusion really was a weaker euro, which again obviously helped European equities obviously move higher. Given the fact that the Comey testimony hasn't really um, spooked the markets either, okay, if anything it's vindicated uh, Mr. Trump and he can get back to his potential tax plan and infrastructure plan for now. Okay, uh, other than that, oil prices certainly stabilizing as well, certainly helping the uh, risk of uh, risk uh, in the market, given the fact that we have a double bottom on oil now, that can certainly send U US equities to new highs. So keep an eye on that, certainly looking for a, th uh, a move higher on the uh, price of oil up to 47, which in turn, like I said, will help your equities move to new highs. Okay, so that certainly is a status quo. Now let's bring up the actual technicals now, let's see exactly where we are. Now, the German DAX, from my perspective, after today's potential uh, Mr. Draghi uh, announcement, you are looking for potential gap fill closing at 12.820 now. 
that's what I would expect on the uh, German DAX, okay, to close that gap, given the weaker euro, okay, so Mr. Draghi certainly hasn't spooked markets with talk of tapering. So given the fact that we're stabilizing here, looking to potentially pop here to 12.790, and then obviously 12.820, ultimate gap fill target above, okay. If the Nasdaq breaks out today, then obviously that will certainly help uh, the uh, move higher. The French CAC certainly has built a base here on the 10-minute chart of 5.255, looking to potentially throw the th thrust higher now, although we did get weaker trade balance and obviously exports, imports, that certainly is a cause for concern. Uh, the only uh, real wild card now we have is a UK election. If obviously the Tories win with a majority, then that will help the FTSE potentially move higher. So bear that, bear that in mind as well. FTSE 100 certainly has been going lower, lower, lower towards the close. Uh, we are now into that FIB 75% uh, retracement. We are into previous resistance equal support, multiple support around the 7440 zone. So you are looking for a potential pop. So keep an eye on that in terms of the FTSE 100. Okay, so at the moment, really in no man's land. Okay, we're certainly in a bearish phase. And the 60 minute chart, again, like I said, no man's land. Only next real support is seen down back down at 7400. But are we going to close that H&S target or are we going to retrace? That's the question. Okay, so certainly sit back and wait for the answer for now. In terms of the Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just bring up the Euro stocks here. So Euro stocks certainly built a base, especially with the weaker Euro. Obviously, uh, no talk of tapering either. Oil prices stabilizing as well. Uh, everything from my perspective indicates a potential move higher. So certainly can take that into consideration. Look for that move higher on the euro stocks okay so i think that's a good summation so far so, so far super thursday hasn't really been so super duper after all if anything it's been muted okay no real other than the FTSE obviously uh, breaking that to seven five hundred and obviously plunging even lower other than that european equities nothing really to talk about to be honest uh, obviously yes the euro certainly plunging but that's it okay that's it uh, oil prices certainly stabilizing and uh, again like i said stronger chinese data a China more Chinese markets higher overnight, a G, Japanese GDP coming on the weaker side. So we really, I mean, it, it's sum it up yourself, folks. Okay, sum it up for yourself. My understanding is that we're building a base here, as you can see in the European equities, and we're certainly looking to potentially surge and move to new highs. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.